Donald Trump did not have time to go to his planned rally in Iowa. He said there'd be tornadoes, there weren't. He just, I guess, didn't want to go. But he did make time to call into a different rally. That was happening at Trump Doral. I guess he's making money off of that one, so he cares about it. It's the Reawaken America rally. Remember, reawakening America is a good thing. Being woke is the devil. But anyway, he found time to call in, and here's what that looked like. Hey, Mr. President, can you hear us? I can, I can. I will say, General Flynn, he's some general, he's some man. He took abuse like nobody could have handled, and he came out bigger, better, stronger than ever before. We love him. He's a leader. And uh, you just stay wealthy and healthy and well and everything. I want you to have great lives in general. You just have to stay healthy because we're bringing you back. We're going to bring you back. Okay, so that is him promising whether he ever comes through on it to bring Michael Flynn back to the White House. Michael Flynn, of course, pleaded guilty in 2017 to lying to the FBI, specifically about his backroom talks with the Russian ambassador. And he managed to stand out at this rally amongst all the other crazies. Roger Stone, Mike Lindell, Sidney Powell, they're all there. It's all your crazy friends. Remember, Michael Flynn not only pled guilty, did all this crazy stuff. When he was given a AR-15 on stage as a prize once, He then immediately said he was going to go find somebody in Washington, D.C. That was how he responded to be given an assault rifle, which is frequently used in mass shootings. That's the guy that Trump is gonna be bringing back. But before you jump in, Francesca, I don't want you to think that he was the only crazy. It gets even worse than him, take a look at this. There's wickedness attempting to completely cover this nation in perversion and seductive seducing spirits. I have never seen more images of more mermaids and water people in my life. That's a division in the kingdom of darkness and they're highly technologically advanced. And we have to understand what we're dealing with. And we have to understand the rules of engagement in spiritual warfare. And we are meant for hand to hand combat. And we are meant to bring our cries before the throne of God to bring judgment on the rulers of darkness of this world and of this nation. Because the rulers have set up a throne in this nation. They've set it up. Darkness has completely covered and eclipsed the White House of this nation. Yeah, it's not difficult to draw the line from the beginning of the hand-to-hand combat. That's a threat to go to DC and to kill Joe Biden. That's what that was. I mean, it was there was mealy mouth, little like evasion and everything, but that's what that was. That was the prophet Amanda Grace. She calls herself a prophet. Um, But anyway, she says uh, she's never seen more images of mermaids who are highly technologically advanced. (laughs) And I'm pretty sure she just saw the most recent Black Panther movie and thought it was a documentary. What do you think, Francesca? Oh my God, I just, I feel for Paul Ryan. You know, here (laughs) in moments like these, I feel for Paul Ryan because that a-hole, you know, he walked the entire, you know, right wing into the mouths of Trump. He was there, you know, like kissing his butt like everybody else. And then he just bowed out when he was like, "You got it from here. I'll come back when like everything makes a little bit more sense." And now you got Prophet Amanda Grace talking about water people. <laughs> and you know, MFers who just wanted to like, you know, cut taxes for the rich and like completely like strip the poor of any food or, you know, assistance. They're like, ugh, God, these people aren't serious, you know, about just like robbing from the poor like I am. Now they got to talk about mermaids and water people. She clearly just saw like she went to go see whatever movie she saw and saw an ad for Avatar. the Little Mermaid. Yeah, she went to see Avatar and like the water people. Like, no, you're, (laughs) oh my God. Why are you like a dream that James Cameron had in the middle of the night? Like, you just, uh. I know. I just, again, it's like with the other people, like, I just want to hold them and say, none of that stuff is real. Like, I know that you think that we're really casting spells that we learned in Dungeons and Dragons, but like, It's not real and it's weird that the people who desperately wish it was real have to explain to the people who don't think that that it should be real that it isn't real. Exactly. There's no Satan, there's no hell, there's no magic, it's not real. We're living a real life, there's no orcs coming over the hill. Put down your bow, Legolas, it's not (laughs) real. Anyway. 
that's the rally that Trump called into. Oh he God. was more interested in them than his base at the actual rally.